How's everybody doing? I know um, I haven't been making a lot of videos. For that, I apologize. My wife was in the hospital. We were going through my family a very severe time. She's out of the hospital. She's been home. And obviously, she hasn't been spending time with her family. So we've been spending a lot of time. The kids have been spending a lot of time with her. Um, and I haven't been making a lot of videos. But I'm just going to quickly cover my thoughts on everything going on with AMC, Adam Aaron, the future of AMC. Um, you know, look, it is what it is. You know, I see a lot of people making videos and they're very contradicting. Guys like Matt Cause, Matt the Weasel, you know, he's trying to make it seem now how AMC, how he lost money. AMC is very bad. And, you know, it's so stupid for everybody to say it's good, good, good when it's bad, bad, bad. Well, you were the one who did that, Matt Cause. <laughs> you know, he forgets how he was taking super chats, okay, and made over half a million dollars. So even if the guy winded up losing, which I don't think is true, to be honest, I like him to prove it. But even if he winded up losing a half a million or whatever it is, 600,000, with all the super chats and everything else he winded up making, he broke even. So... Because that's from the apes. He got that money from the apes. Pretty much moon gang. Pretty much saying to everybody how he felt the AMC was going to moon. And now, of course, when the reality slaps him in the face, he's changing his whole tune. Listen, you know what it is? I saw this, all this coming a very long time ago. You all want to give Lou credit. Everybody wants to give Lou credit that he called out Adam Aaron. No, no, no. You watch me. I made a video over a year ago. Okay. And it was um, Adam Aaron and the AMC scam. Okay, I lost overnight like a thousand subscribers. Overnight, everybody turned against the ape father. My viewership from that point never was the same ever again. Because back then, I was probably getting videos that were at least 5,000 views. At least, okay? And ever since I made that statement, I have to tell you, I don't know if I was shadow banned by YouTube, or maybe it's possible a lot of people just said, F the ape father, I don't wanna watch him anymore. But my viewership since then, like I get videos now, they get 100 views, 50 views, according to YouTube at least, when I cover AMC. So I lost a tremendous amount of subscribers, viewership, but I was the first person who called out Adam Aaron. I was the first, look, I was telling all of you, back then, I'm like, how can you all support a guy who's selling all of his AMC stock? And, and, and you know what people were saying to me back then, right? People were like, look, Rich, it's part of his retirement. You know, you have to understand he's retired. I'm like, I don't understand shit. I'm like, this guy believes in our company and he believes in the Moaz and he believes, why is he selling? That, that that was my point. And everybody was like, no, it's part of his retirement. I had this, even that guy Dave from California, I don't want to bring him up. But that's what he was saying. I was the one saying it to him back then and he was fighting me. He was like, the Rich, CEOs, they do this all the time. It's part of their retirement package. He, he since then apologized to me, Dave. <laughs> he told me I was right. I'm like, no, no, no. The guy should not be selling all his AMC, okay? Obviously, there's something up. And as the time progressed, we saw that Adam Aaron, obviously, is just here to line his pockets. Let's be honest. I like to say it's alleged. I'll say it's alleged, but we know, right? The guy has done everything in his power to use the blood of retail, to use us, our money, to save himself, to save AMC from everything, Everything from, you know, possibly bankruptcy, not just, look, I get it that we saved him the first time, but I'm talking about present day. The first time he was on the verge of bankruptcy. And then we, we obviously all came together, all the retail investors, we bought AMC, rose it up to 72, $73 a share. We put $2 billion in the vault for Adam Aaron and AMC. So we saved them, but I'm talking about not then. I'm not talking about then. I'm talking about present day, present day, every chance he's getting. Uh, to use retail's blood to save himself and to save his company. Because that's ultimately what's happening here, is that AMC is in a tremendous amount of debt. Adam Aaron did not use any of the money that we first initially helped him raise, the $2 billion, to lower the $5 billion of debt. He used nothing. He used nothing. None of it, not even the debt was paid down a little bit. So that's why he proposed all of this stuff, the 10 for 1 reverse stock split, you know, the uh, opportunity for more delusion, you understand? You know, con the, the conversion from uh, eight into AMC and we, we saw all the craziness with the market, how Ape was going up and AMC is going down because that's the sentiment of the market right now. They know that that probably Ape now that's being converted, that's the play, right? And then AMC, they're gonna short the living shit out of it. And ultimately once Ape does convert into AMC, I think it's kind of like the future of what they're going to do too. Will they short AMC again? Yeah, right? <laughs> I'll say alleged, but you know, don't have to be 
a rocket scientist to figure that one out, okay? So that's all that's happening. Look, that's it. That, that's it. It's like the lawsuit was settled. Ape will be converted into AMC. The 10 for one's going through. Look, whatever it's going to be, I don't know. And then I was reading something that kind of confused me about how there's going to be, instead of a 10 for one, it was something like a seven or an eight for one. Now, I don't know if that's just for the people who won the lawsuit. I got to do a little bit more research or if that's going to apply to all of us. That I'm going to have to hold off because I, I was reading something about that. I think that might only apply to people in the lawsuit, that they might get like 25% more of their shares. I don't want to make a claim I'm not sure about. I don't know if that applies to us or just to the people, the, the plaintiffs of the lawsuit. That I don't know, but I was reading a little statement there where they, they were like, oh, I see an April one for the plaintiffs, but I think it might be for them. That might have been one of their things they used to settle just to get a little bit more of their shares. Okay, I don't think that applies to us. I think we're a time for one. But again, let me do a little bit more DD on that before I, you know, make a statement. Other than that, we know the deal. Adam Aaron is here for his own pockets. The guy needs $19 million a year salary. He sold up to about, what, close to $50 million worth of AMC stock. He's in it for himself. This is not a big surprise. That's why Ape Father wanted all of us to come together. I wanted all of us to unite. I wanted all of us to fire his ass. That's why I've been saying the whole time. I'm like, that's the answer. Everybody say, what's the answer? Should I hold? Should I buy? I'm like, you know what the answer is? Fire Adam Aaron. Take over AMC. Fire the AMC board of directors. That's what I was trying to tell all of you. But it's like, everybody's like, oh, you're a clown. Yes. So whatever. Look, what do you want me to tell you? It is what it is. The situation is what it is. Is it good? Probably not. What are we going to do? What, what, what do you suggest? What all do you, you know, what do all of you suggest me? Look. I'm down a tremendous amount of money. It's, it's zero or hero for me. That's it. If it, look, I've already prepared myself to lose all of my money with AMC. I told all of you this. That's why over the last year, two years, I'm stacking up on precious metals. I'm buying gold. Cash is king. And I've been saying that to you, by the way. Ever since I said the AMC Adam Aaron scam video, which look it up if you don't believe me. It was over a year and a half ago. I've been also saying cash and precious metals. And everybody breaks my balls about that too. <laughs> but I've been saying that. That's why you always see me with wads of cash. Cash and precious metals. Because I had to do something as a supplement to all of this crazy nonsense happening with AMC. Look, I came into this with the same beliefs as, as all of you. AMC, Moaz, life-changing wealth, ge generational wealth. But as of right now, does it look like that's going to happen? Probably not. With all of the shit that Adam Aaron is doing, all this effing corruption, you know, all this manipulation... But what can we do? Look, it is what it is for me. Look, I'm not selling, all right? I'm also putting my faith in GameStop. I told all of you that. I'm building up on GameStop. And I have other things. You know, I have other things in my life. You know, unlike Matt Coors, okay, I just took a loss on this. Okay, you will break my balls. Like, you know, it's so funny. Like, these people break my balls over every little thing. I think one time when I was doing my protest, right, I sold like five t-shirts and I have haters yelling at me over that. Didn't you make like a hundred dollars? <laughs> They're like, didn't you make a hundred dollars? He fall. Like these haters don't care about that. Like well over 200,000. They don't give a shit. They don't care. They get a fall. I heard you sold five t-shirts. What about my course? Okay. What about you got, you say nothing about that. Every little thing with me. Every little thing. Hey, fall. Hey, fall. You got a five dollar super chat. You ate a meatball. <laughs> it's like, this is what I'm saying. It's like, look, I got a lot of haters. I don't know if they work for Citadel. I don't know what it is, but I should have all love. I should have all love because I've been, uh, I've been here for all of you for the beginning. You know, I'm, I'm probably the only ape, like you know, that actually helped us. You understand? I did. I donated over ten thousand dollars. I'm talking about from the beginning to now, over ten thousand dollars to my ape brothers and my ape sisters. That was my money. Was it GoFundMe, which was returned? It was my personal money. I, and, and, and you know what? The apes I helped, they all love me. They love me, okay? Everyone knows I've been the truest one here, the most transparent one, the most realest one. So I'm going to be real with you again. I'm not selling my AMC because to me, I've already considered it a loss. Look, that's it. It's zero a hero. So I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, that's the answer. I don't know what the future is, but... I'm not leaving. I don't leave. When I start something, I, I, I go to the finish line. That's it. Hopefully, AMC, at least this is what I'm looking. You want to hear one positive? Hopefully now, with all of this effing dilution, that he will hopefully pay down the debt. And on a fundamental level, I know we didn't come into this play for that reason. 
Maybe eventually, if he lowers the debt, 30, 40% of, of moviegoers go to AMC, it'll, it'll start attracting new buyers. This will be after the 10 for 1 reverse stock split. They'll, and these will be new buyers coming into AMC who are never apes like us. It's like going to be a whole new chain of retail investors who are just coming in, probably for fundamental reasons, thinking that the company lowered its debt and more people are going to the movies. And it might attract, you know, obviously new retail, which will hopefully do something for us in the future. Other than that, we know all of the negatives. You know what I mean? What do you want me to tell you? We know that we got screwed by Adam Aaron. We, I got it. And I've been saying it for the longest time, losing subscriptions over it, losing viewerships over it. So now that the truth's hitting you in the face, you want to come back and yell at me? I've been saying it for over, like, since uh, two years, I think, almost, I've been saying it. Look back at my videos. It's got to be at least a year and a half ago that I made that video, if not longer, that AMC's a scam. So what do you want me to tell you? Look, I lost a lot of money. I might have to accept I'm never getting it back. These things happen in life. We rebuild our life. Because remember, money can always be made back. Don't, 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 you know, remember that there's always going to be different plays. There's always going to be different opportunities. You learn from your lesson. You should never put all of your money. I put, I didn't put all of my money, but I put a lot of it in AMC. I put a lot of it. Okay. But you shouldn't do that. You should have a diverse portfolio that has different parts. You know, some of it should be very safe. Some of it should be like guaranteed. Some of it should be minimal risk. Some of it, if you want to take a shot for the big profit, some of it, some of it should be high risk, but it should be diversified. That's what we learned from this opportunity. But I'm not giving up on AMC. I'm not giving up on it. I'm holding it. So if by some miracle, because there's still people who believe that this 10 for 1 reverse stock split will lead, all the yes voters, right, <laughs> will lead to the bars, let's see what happens. Let's see what I'm not selling, okay? Zero or hero. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only.